Every flame begins with a single spark, and for centuries, humans have used one simple tool to create it, the matchstick. But how exactly is this tiny stick of wood turned into a controlled burst of fire? Let's take a look inside the fascinating process of how matches are made. It all begins with wood, usually softwood like aspen, poplar, or pine. The logs are peeled to remove the bark, then cut into thin sheets using a special slicing machine. From those sheets, long, narrow sticks called splints are cut, each one the size of a future match. Next, these splints are dried in warm air to remove every trace of moisture. This step is important. Dry wood burns faster, cleaner, and more evenly. Once dried, the splints are dipped in melted paraffin wax. This thin wax coating helps the flame travel smoothly from the match head down the stick when you light it. Now comes the most crucial step, the match head. In a large mixing tank, chemicals are blended together. Potassium chlorate which supplies oxygen, sulfur which fuels the burn, glue to hold it together, and a bit of glass powder to create friction. For safety matches, phosphorus is not in the match head, it's placed on the striking surface instead. The splints are dipped into the stick mixture, forming the small bulb at the tip we call the match head. Then, they're left to dry in large trays, turning solid and ready to ignite. Meanwhile, the matchbox striking surface is made separately. It's coated with a blend of red phosphorus, powdered glass, and binder glue. When you drag the match across it, friction creates heat, just enough to turn the red phosphorus into white phosphorus gas, which ignites the match head. Finally, the dried matches are packed into boxes, labeled, and ready for the world to use. A process that transforms simple wood and chemicals into controlled fire. From lighting candles to sparking campfires, every match carries centuries of science, discovery, and a spark of human creativity.